But I thought I was looking at some doggone otters because the other day some otters came around. But it appears that it's a carp. And he may be after what the beaver left in the pond a little bit close to his entrance. So this is where I'm seeing the, car the carp over in here. Let's zoom out a little bit. And I'll be back when he starts getting around again. He's I can see his back. His back will pop up when he's getting close to that shallow water trying to get up towards that foliage. That right there is a tree branch. Last time I was doing that, I was shooting a damn gun across there. And uh, there were snakes all on the other side. Right there, running around. I didn't even see them until I started editing the video. Oh, there he is. There he is. Watch. See his back? See his, see his back? He's, he, he's right in there. His back just came up. It must be deeper than I thought it was over there. He's gone behind that tree, folks. He'll come back. You watch. I know, quit moving the damn camera shit. Hell, I was going to make me another drink before this shit happened, so. I'm thirsty, in other words. I'm out here making y'all this video, and I'm thirsty, and I'm dying of thirst. I just walked done. Got finished at 18, 25 miles. Walked through the desert just to get back home so I can make me a drink. But that's okay, because I'm putting the work in. Yeah. I'm throwing the seeds out too. I got a handful of black oil sunflower seeds. See all that right there? Eee, them squirrels love it. That's how you keep squirrels out of your garden. Throw that all over your yard every day and spread it out real good. That'll keep them busy. They won't want to go into your garden. They've been planting oak trees around my yard for years. Squirrels will do that. They'll plant oak trees. That's what they're good for. They're, they're good for planting oak trees. And you know what? Oak trees are good. So let squirrels live and let squirrels plant oak trees in your yard. Here goes the airplane, man. We'll, we'll get back to you in a minute whenever the uh, fish come. Come on back down with a damn dirty screen. I know we got a dirty thing. If you're a dentist, pause the video and check to see what you can see in there. If I need anything, you'll let me know. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's how you get a free consultation. <laughs> oh, I gotta get zip ties, folks. I'm fixing to show y'all something. Y'all had not even one clue about what's going on here. I need to go back in and get some zip ties because for this project, I would need some zip ties. And you'll see why here in just one second. Let me put my, don't put it down. Don't even take your hand off of it. Let's go. Uh, we're fixing a bunk. <laughs> Y'all already seen it. I'm going to show you in this video how to fix a bunk on a trail on a boat trailer. As you can tell, this one here has already been replaced. I did it earlier today, and I'm fixing to replace this one and extend it out a little bit longer. And this was what this video is about. I'll show you that here in just a minute. For those that don't know what's going on. I went and bought myself. Yeah, I'm still shopping, folks. I'm still, I told myself I was going to quit spending money, but I decided to go get this 13-foot GNU. All right. I, I, I mean, I don't know how you... What, what happened? Did I lose something? Is it still recording? Hello? Can you hear me now? Okay, yeah, we're, we're going. So it's a GNU. This is what they call these things. GNU. They come out of Titusville, Florida. Here goes a 13-foot one. I got a 13-foot one. Uh, it's pretty much a very super duper wide canoe made out of heavy-duty fiberglass, and uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's made for real. So it's, it's real. This is a for real boat. This ain't no junk. Um, you'll see more videos on that, but for now, canoe. Okay, then, folks. This is what I got for this project. I got me a little tape measure. Some heavy duty zip ties, a zip tie tool, a razor blade, a little adjustable wrench, a medium adjustable wrench. I have me a two by four, a brand new two by four to make my bunk out of. It's not really brand new, but that's okay for me. I've got a drill. <coughs> All right, I got a drill. Let's get this drill ready because we're gonna need it. Let's put it down here on this side. Let's stage our tools as we talk about them. We're going to be cutting this two by four to length, so we're going to need a scale saw. 
No, that's not a skill saw, is it? Y'all put your comments down below and let me know what it is. I'll wait 30 seconds because I gotta go out there in the back of my truck and get the piece of carpet for this because I got a piece of carpet in there for this piece. While I'm doing that, y'all go comment, go ahead and hit the comments down below and tell me what kind of saw this is because I just forgot. I think it's a skill saw. First thing I'm gonna do for this dark, folks, I'm gonna grab my doggone tape measure and my, uh, my knife and I'm gonna go cut my carpet. I already know what I need to cover a two by four. The top only. You don't, I'm not really covering the bottom part that's gonna face down because I want any water that gets on it or anywhere around it to have a place to drain off. I don't want to encapsulate my bunk. I want to leave the bottom of it open so it has some kind of room to dry. So we're gonna take our doggone piece of carpet here. All right. We're gonna mark out eight inches. It takes eight inches to cover a two before. Oh, who's that? Somebody's look, driving around looking at my butt. Yeah. I hope they know I'm on, they on video. So. so let's just go ahead and mark our damn carpet right here at uh, eight inches. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow these doggone grooves. The carpet is made with like, these lines. So these lines are pretty much straight, okay? If you marked your cut with your knife, you just follow that line all the way down. As, as, as long as your piece is square to begin with, then you're going to have a piece of... Uh, a straight piece of carpet so let's go ahead and cut that i ain't got my glasses oh boy <laughs> this is gonna be fun folks if you have glasses wear them but i can pretty much see this i can see this line on here i've already done this two times today with glasses on oh. all right there's one Let's get one more. While we do that, we'll use that for a damn knee pad. Turn that bitch over and put your knee on it. All right, let's see. Put your damn tape measure up there. Y'all can't see that, can you? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? You can see that. Look at that. Better look over here. So put on eight inches. Kill it. Let's run. You might be able to help me out with this job. No, probably not. That ain't perfect, but you know what? It ain't but a boat trailer. You can still use this one over there where you're fixing to go to work. Keep the leftovers with you because you can sit on it. Keep you from sitting on that damn wet ass ground. Let's go. We don't need the knife no more. We might need it later, but we sure don't need it right now. Let's go get a damn saw and get this old piece off. I'll be back in a second. Okay, now folks, I'm freaking dripping sweat. I got to go over here and uh, I got to take the old one off real quick. I ain't done that yet, but I need to show y'all how, how I do it. It is way, I, I mean, you know, it's really the only way to do it. Like if you want to cut the bolts, if your bolts have been in a lot of salt water, which these haven't really, you want to uh, probably cut them off with a sawzall or some kind of grinder. Um, let's see this. Okay. It's like they got a carriage bolt on here, so I'm just going to take a pair of uh, adjustable. And uh, I can't see nothing with those glasses. They are totally fogged up. I may end up having to cut this one off. Looks like they got a galvanized... <laughs> this is a fence post. This is a bolt for a fence post in here. It'll work. It hits, yeah, it'll work. I'm glad they used that. Smart people I bought this boat from, man. They, uh, they know what they was doing, but it was definitely time to change these bunks. Uh, let me keep that washer. Hell, excuse me for this. This video, it's like freaking 100% humidity. <laughs> the 30th of May, or the 27th of May, Florida, <laughs> hot as hell. Mosquitoes are chasing me around. I'm fighting the mosquitoes for my whiskey. That's how bad they are. They want my whiskey. <laughs> Alright, so to get this doggone bolt out, or the nut, the bolt actually, put a, put your nut back on there, thread it a couple of times, so you don't hit the end of your threads, just kind of tap it lightly, if it don't come out, just you're going to have problems, that's all I got to say, I'm glad I ain't had no problems, 
these people took care of their stuff. They used galvanized material and stainless steel. Now see how I did that ranch right there on the bottom? To get back on the other side, so I don't, I took the nut off so it could come through. I don't want to booger up them threads, so I've taken my ranch on this side and I put it behind that carriage bolt. And now it's just time to work it out slowly. There we go. We got that out and we'll pull this old bunk off. There's our old bunk with that old carpet. It's got about a thousand screws holding that carpet in, which I really don't want on there. I'd rather have plastic zip ties because, you know, just in case you get off center or whatever and you have a mess up or, if you have a, 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 a problem launching or even retrieving your boat back onto the trailer, you don't want a bunch of screws and stuff in the way that's gonna scratch your fiberglass. So I'm using a carpet with plastic zip ties, heavy duty zip ties. Now, next step, folks, I ain't gonna be able to cut this clip. We're gonna measure these bunks, which I already have, but I'll show you, you're gonna to have to measure your bunk. All right, now, we did that, and we're gonna do that the same way? No, we're not. I've decided to change mine. You may wanna change yours and upgrade it for depending on what boat you got, so I'm gonna measure my old, my new bunk that I put on there. I'm gonna match it. Ah, my tape measure. Folks, buy a good tape measure. An old flimsy tape measure ain't worth nothing. It really ain't, unless you got two people. You got one person, you need a, you need a serious tape measure. Well, I, I, <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go, uh, I think my bunk is 69 inches. Let's grab the new bunk board. This is my bunk board. Cut it to 69 inches. Give me the saw. I got, I'm using a Dewalt with a, a heavy, aggressive wood blade. I'll pick the best end of my wood. And see which way we want to go. 69 inches. I guess we're gonna go right there. I'll leave that in the front. Yep. 69, 79, 79. Okay. I'm at my 69 inch mark. I'm just going to hold my finger there. And then I'm going to put the saw there. And then I'm going to move my finger away from there before I start the saw. And just go ahead and cut it right there. careful folks make sure that your saw doesn't fall onto your leg don't keep anything underneath where the saw is going to fall and before you start put your damn glasses on yeah. all right now we got that done I already know that this bunk is bolted 14 inches from the back of the board to the bolt holes so I'll get my drill where's my drill there you go I'm gonna measure 14 inches to the top I mean to the, to the bolt hole. I'll put my, um, go ahead and put my bunk into its cradle and get my, um, where is my, I have lost my doggone tape measure. <laughs> I just had it a second ago. I guarantee I just used it. Here we go. Found it. Let's hit a 14 inch mark. To the bolt hole. Alright, let's go. Come on. We got 15, let's hit 14. A little bit more. That'll be working. That's I like that right there, that's fine. Let's hold it in place and just drill a little bit of uh, pilot hole. So now we know where we at. Let's pull it out of its cradle. Let's go ahead and finish drilling our hole for the fastener. That's gonna go through there. Make sure your fingers are not behind where the drill is going to exit. You got to kind of, you know, estimate where the drill is going to exit the wood. And don't be having your fingers there. Hold it somewhere over here. Put some clamps on it, most likely, so you ain't even got to use your fingers. But if you're redneck like me, you're going to use your damn hand. Don't do this at home. I 
I got it started good now with a good pilot. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the cradle. I'm gonna put it right back there and get that hole lined up. And I'm gonna do as best I can to go through one and make it through the other without breaking a drill bit. If you don't like the way it sounds and it sounds like you're getting too much into metal, stop and come back. Go again. Get a different angle. You gotta make it through that other side of that cradle. Not working well. What? Well, I guess it fell into place there. Do not force it, folks. Do not force it. Let the drill do the work, man. If you force it, you're gonna ruin a drill bit and possibly break it. You wanna be able to use it again. <laughs> You gotta know how to use your tools, not abuse your tools. Uh, well, let's get around here with our eyeballs and take a look. Sweating like a bitch. Oh, here we go. Let's get, let's get it lined up. Let's get it lined on up. Here we go. Man. This is a little tiny trailer. It don't take much trailer for a little old light canoe. It's a 13-foot canoe made out of Titusville, Florida. They've been around for a long time, and they survive a long time. They're good boats. I'm going to see if I can use it for a little while and give you all my opinion on it, and then we'll get rid of it, and we'll get another one. We'll get something else and try it and make another video about that. All right, I'm done with my wrenches. I'm done with my saw. I'm ready to take my dog on zip ties and my carpet and get this bunk covered. Ugh. Take your old piece of wood, throw it away so you don't trip over it and break your neck. Okay, these are, these are let me tell you, these are uh, tilting bunks. They're only attached in the back. All right? These are tilt, this is a tilt bunk. That's how I work this. I'm going to get my pieces of carpet pre-cut to 8 inches a piece. It takes 8 inches to cover a bunk. 2 by 4 So get that over there and get it about centered. Get your zip tie. Oh, I'm going to screw y'all up now because I'm going to take this damn tool. i got to have that tool, so i got to set y'all up somewhere else. Hell, man. Why'd you do that? I'm burning up like this. crazy as hell out here. Let me see if I can set y'all up somewhere you can see what I'm doing. I can't even see the glass. I can't see the damn uh, boat in there. Hell no. Lower. Go lower on the railing. Alright, y'all look at the bottom of the damn screen. I guess. Shit. Let me get y'all a good shot. Hang on. I don't want too much, too much, too much trouble now to screw it up now. Let it go. Okay, you see where I'm working. I'll try not to get in front of the damn camera. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to take and leave my carpet extended past my bunk just a little bit because I don't want that edge of that damn wood rubbing on my boat. So I'll go about an inch past my, uh, I'm up here in the front. Yeah, I'm going about an inch past it just for safety protection. Now I'm going to take a minute down zip tie one that you would buy at the air conditioner uh, supply house if you was an air conditioner man. You can get these heavy duty ones at other places, but you probably ain't going to get them as heavy duty as you do if you buy them from an industrial supply house. Uh, and you use this tool that I got, this handy dandy zip tie tool, to tighten these things up. And it cuts them at the same time, so pretty easy thing. It, it makes easy work out of putting zip ties on when you're putting zip, big ass zip ties on something. And these are big ass zip ties, and they're gonna stay there for a long time. All right, so let's go ahead and just go on down, smooth our carpet out. Um, I want to do like I mean I don't want a whole bunch of damn slag in it. So, or whatever, I'll just go ahead and put one right here. Probably about another foot down. It's either an airplane or a dog, ain't it, folks? That's a dog. All right, 
it is a tilting remember that this is a tilting uh it is a tilting uh bunk so i ain't got to bend over to do it that's wonderful thing where y'all at oh damn there's a camera down there i'm looking over there yes folks it is a blue cup time it's a blue cup time and this is a video that i really didn't think i was gonna make but all of a sudden i was like damn i need to get this crap done and i'm just sitting here listening to music on the back porch doing nothing and i got daylight I need to get busy so here I am making a video I probably shouldn't be making this video right now but I'm doing it anyway because this is my job I'm dr yeah I'm drinking <laughs> that's okay though I'm the boss it'd be all right <clears throat> this might have my damn trailer done when I wake up in the morning I won't have shit to do with this I'll be able to go do something else I'm thinking about riding back up to Bruton and picking up the four-wheeler I bought I gotta go back with my different trailer and get pick up my four-wheeler. Yeah. There's many more adventures to come, folks, with Rednecks Gone Wild.com. Next Happy's gonna get a four-wheeler and we 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 finna go on some adventures together. Now that he has his own website and his own YouTube channel starting to kick, he's on Facebook, things are gonna roll. Yeah, we we are here to entertain you for the for the fullest, okay? I'll tell you what. We started out strong, entertaining y'all, and we are probably going to continue for a long time. We, I know I'm going to continue as long as I can. I can't guarantee that he is going to stick with it because I've tried to teach a lot of people how to do what I do, and nobody sticks, seems to stick with it. They, you know, they get discouraged quickly and, and go to something else because it doesn't produce right away. YouTube's kind of a strange thing like that. It don't produce right away. You got to stick with it. You know, you gotta go by their, they, they got rules and regulations that you gotta abide by and standard, whatever. They got, I mean, you gotta, you know, you gotta have a, you gotta have a thousand subscribers and you gotta have four, 40 or 400,000 something hours of view time before you can start making money and become a, uh, a partner. So, yeah, he's got a little ways to go. Y'all support his channel, please, because right now he's not a partner and he's not making any, any YouTube, uh, revenue so he, he's not eligible yet he needs to grow his channel so please tell everybody you know about happy's channel and tell them to subscribe and watch all right see what we're doing here we're going on here that's right below with the second piece of carpet um i guess if you cut it the opposite way you wouldn't have to do this make you a longer piece but i found a 45 by 45 square of carpet on the side of the road so I ain't had to pay nothing for this damn thing. I already had the, I already had the two befores in my backyard. So this bunk repair ain't costing me nothing. The zip ties was in my doggone closet. Had them ready to go for whatever I needed them for. Usually I need them to uh, attach umbrellas to fences and gates at the mud bogs where I go to show, uh, movie record y'all's events and stuff. So I always got some zip ties around. Not to mention, I used to be an air conditioner man. So, let's go ahead and hit these zip ties on here. We want to secure these bunks real well with this carpet. Y'all can get carpet anywhere, man. Drive down the road. I needed carpet today. I drove down the road. I found five pieces before I found the one I wanted. There's carpet all over the side of the damn road. People throw carpet out all day long. I'm gonna go right on down to the end. Now these zip ties are the way to go. They're cheap and they won't scratch your damn boat. Let's get this last one on here and I'll cut the excess off of this last bunk. Make sure it's lined up straight. Kind of getting out of alignment. Ooh, that's a, you probably won't be able to fix that because them damn zip ties are bad to the bone, I'm telling you. That tool I got, <laughs> you use this zip tie tool on your leg you got an instant tourniquet, and if you go too tight, you're cutting your damn leg off. I'm serious, that's how good that tool is. That zip tie will pull right through your damn skin, your flesh, and it'll probably stop at your bone, but I don't know, man, it's probably strong enough to cut through your damn bone. It's a bad, it's a bad boy. Somebody needs to take one of these zip tie tools and one of these big ass heavy duty ties I got and try it on a pig, some pig bones. That would make a great freaking YouTube video. Let's see how strong a freaking zip tie tool really is. I guarantee you could cut through bone with it. That probably you can break that bone right in half. Ugh. All right, let's 
done. Those, those bunks are done. And I'm done. <laughs> I'm damn sure done. But before I do anything, I gotta put my tools away. Show y'all what we got going here. I'll cut the end of that off. What I have is a little bit of leftover chicken on the end, a little chicken fat. I'll throw that chicken fat to the side. I don't need that. I'll make it look pretty like this. And uh, yeah, I got me some new bunks on my trailer for my new canoe. Yeah, and there's more water falling off of me than if I was in the shower. Y'all want to see the canoe? <sighs> Hard work, folks. Working down here in freaking humidity and heat as a fat boy full of water and whiskey. I'm working it though. I'm exercising. I'm still working. Don't stop moving, folks. Do not stop moving. Work your body. Work your body. Get that damn shit out. Sweat it out. That's what I'm doing. I'm sweating it out and I put it back in. Sweat it out, put it back in. Sweat it out, put it back in. You got to keep that shit rotating. Keep your kidneys flushed. That's all I got to say. Keep your kidneys flushed. Bye bye.